much. Thank you. All right. That was, that was awesome. Uh, thank you for that update and for everything that you do. Um, now, I want to just welcome up next um, Alan Meadows and Matt McEwen to tell you about Airship. Good morning, Berlin. Can we go back a couple slides? I'll try again. Good morning, Berlin. <laughs> um, uh, so for those of you who haven't heard of Airship, uh, we're a pilot project within the OpenStack Foundation. And uh, both of us are here today to give you a project update and to tell you about an important milestone that we've reached. So first, what is Airship? Airship is a platform for the full lifecycle management of open infrastructure. It treats containers and Helm charts as the fundamental units of cloud uh, software delivery and deployment. Airship uh, takes a collection of declarative site manifests, uh, YAMLs, and then feeds them through a single front door API, and then uses them to drive the provisioning end to end of a full site from bare metal provisioning to the definition of network and policy through standing up a full OpenStack cloud. Uh, doing an upgrade is as simple as changing one of those manifests in Git and then running the whole collection back through that front door API. Airship takes uh, the guesswork out of cloud software uh, deployment and upgrades. Well, thanks for the overview, Matt. Um, we also wanted to briefly walk you through the history uh, of Airship, uh, how it started as a project. So. In 2016, uh, we started the OpenStack Helm project. And that's worth mentioning, because although these two projects are completely independent, they are sister projects in a way. Uh, once we had OpenStack functioning uh, as a Helm-based application, uh, we wanted to start building a declarative platform that would enable us to quickly stamp out new environments as well as manage the life cycle uh, of all of our Helm-based applications. Uh, we initiated Airship upstream and GitHub in 2017 starting with an application to uh, declaratively workflow large collections of Helm charts, uh, moving on to tackling deploying Kubernetes on bare metal infrastructure, and finally filling in all the other orbiting sub-projects that make Airship what it is today. Uh, we brought this collection uh, of, of Airship services to the OpenStack Foundation as a pilot project in the Vancouver Summit. And today, our announcement is really all about introducing our 1.0 release candidate. So a number of different organizations have been collaborating to build Airship. And you can see a few of them here. As you can see, uh, many of them are already using Airship for real world use cases or plan to use it very soon. Uh, things like 5G, edge computing, and continuous delivery. So Airship has published a release candidate. It's to act as a stable reference for the community. Uh, while we continue on our way to an official 1.0 release, and there are a number of features in the release candidate up on the screen, um, I'm just going to mention a few of them. Uh, Airship was built by operators for operators. And our expectation there is that Airship end users should be able to uh, operate Airship without having to write additional orchestration or wrappers around it to operate it in a hands-free way. It should work that way out of the box. And it's able to achieve this because of a, a singular deployment workflow API that functions the same whether you are uh, deploying a site, uh, releasing a minor configuration change, or even upgrading uh, OpenStack itself. Uh, an Airship also delivers predictable upgrades. Um, so something you should be able to test once and be able to uh, release into any number of sites, and it should function exactly the same way. Uh, and finally, Airship is helping uh, end users today stamp out new environments. So at AT&T, we have over uh, 20 environments um, deployed and managed by Airship. Um, and our deployment engineers are now able to replicate these sites uh, more predictably and quickly than ever before. The functionality that we're prioritizing for our 1.0 release uh, focuses on making Airship easier to get started with and on expanding its use cases uh, for more people. Uh, we want to streamline the initial configuration experience. Uh, we want to integrate Ironic for bare metal provisioning. And we want to allow for multiple operating systems. We really would love it uh, if you would get involved in Airship. 
Uh, we welcome you to go to airshipit.org and take our demo environment for a ride, uh, to join our weekly design calls or our IRC meetings and give us feedback, uh, and to help us reach our 1.0 goal in advance of the Denver Summit next year. So up on the screen, we've got some great sessions, uh, workshops, and forums um, that all relate to Airship in some way at the summit this week if you want to learn more about the project. We really invite you to attend these and ask us questions uh, about how, how Airship could help your organization. So uh, please come to uh, the rest of the sessions that we have and uh, join our mailing list. Visit airshipit.org and enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Airship's off to an exciting start. Now